Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, we have finally returned to Terminor with Abrakan, and Nissan's gone. Hallelujah. Um, we also have done some stocking up. Oh yeah, one moment. Okay. Um, we now have maxed out stacks of curing and healing potions, nearly maxed defense potions, 60 stamina potions just in case, good 40 dex potions, a good 33 strength potion, just anything that we could possibly need. I'm not much a fan of this tower and I don't want to go in unprepared. I've uh, got a fair selection of weapons and armor as well. And Mr. Crawdaz is still with us, as you'll remember. So anyway, without much more ado, we're going to set out for Crawdaz Tower. This is probably the one part of the game I am going to be using a guide for. Most of this I've uh, just been doing from memory. Aside from shopping most of the time, just so I know where everything is. But we are actually not terrible far from this tower. We're gonna go hit Darkling Bog, pick up a uh, wall of bones, which we missed earlier, and make a quick stop off in Elishiva's tomb for a couple items, and then we're gonna go to the uh, tower. Probably be at the tower in the next five videos or so, I'd guess. And we aren't going for everything in the tower, even though you can only get it that once. Mostly I'm going for, like, the wands and the stabs and all the stuff that's actually useful. Anything that we'd possibly care about missing. Do, do, do. Looking for the road here. Hello, road. I know you're around here somewhere. There it is. Maybe? Yes. A quiet night in Aiden here. Nice purple sky with a couple stars. Nearly impossible to see. I think I'm actually going to fast forward it. Now, those of you with a good eye may notice we've actually been to Darkling Bog before. Um, and that was the episode where we met uh, the Running Man again. He was actually just up here in front of the uh, bog. See this hill here? This is a very important hill. On top of the hill, we have a handful of trolls. And by a handful, I mean one. Who we're just gonna cheese to death. I'm actually not even gonna fight this guy anymore properly. Also, um, I checked in a test video I did to make sure I knew where I was going through the bog. And trolls are actually intelligent enough to shake off stupidity, which is rather concerning, given that trolls are generally the stupidest of the lot. Good lord, this bow's got range. There, 
there we go. Anyway, this hill is important because of this chest. Containing our wall of bone scroll. And a handful of gemstones, just in case you need them. And as probably expected, the wall of bones goes to Alaron. Still can't learn teleportation yet. Wizard rank 8. We're still rank 6. Anyway, this here, this big dark green area, is Darkling Bog. And we start to see trolls and undead a lot more here. And undead are going to be a pain because they take forever to kill. Also, you can't debilitate sorcerers and chaos mages, so you will always have to fight them. Which is saddening. All those warriors they have, though, oh, they're fair game. Let's see, what do we need? What do we need? We probably just need a shot of strength. I'd imagine everyone here with their chaos robes can actually take a few hits. And then we'll throw out a stupidity once the sorcerers are gone. rapidly lose effectiveness if the enemy actually has a shield up. Alright, what do we think? What do we think? What do we need? We would get so lucky. <laughs> no. Okay, note to self, Aleron needs enough strength to actually use a Chaos Sword. I'm not even going to bother stupefying the, or debilitating the Scout. He's so useless, we don't even care. The problem is, all of these idiots have, uh, what you call it, instant death. We well, gotta get rid of them before they start casting it. Where is he? Come here. Are you actually out of range? There, right there. Oh, maybe the Dragon Fang actually has a proper range. Oh, he's trapped. No, he's not trapped. The other thing, too, is I think, um, very shortly here, when I decide to go back to, um, Aramon, now that the, uh, Chaos Critters are wandering around, um, 
we're also going to pick up belts of cheat death for everyone even though they won't do any good for Alaron for quite some time because uh, you need a true name to be resurrected even though you can't resurrect in this game they have fluff for it um, but as you may remember Alaron doesn't have his true name yet so presents a bit of a problem for him We're not even going to count on the, um, what do you call it, cheat death kicking in. We're just going for the uh, necromancy resist. Because tap stamina. Ugh. There's the other one. Just wiping out chaos trash. You are the one that's moving. Brenna can backstep. Not that guy. Well, whatever. Godric and Aleron, you help out Abrakin. And yes, the bog is always going to be this dark. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Good lord, 93 damage. That is unfair. Oh, he spawned right beside Abrakin again. It's weird actually being able to count on throwing and missile weapons to hit. Not used to that. Hey, 13 grand. Yes, I think that's his project. Aleron, you need to get 25 strength. Even though we'll likely have you using the bow all the time, or the staff, I'd like you to be able to use a sword for when we actually need the damage. Now there's a, a handful of guff you can pick up in the in the forest here, in the bog, but it's, as usual, not that interesting. So, oh hey, it's our shadow, by which I mean spirit. We're just going to head due east to Elishiva's tomb. We're going to be walking for a fair while. Because that's how this game goes. But at least we've got new scenery. And terrifying gray backdrops. Green backdrops. Way to use your render distance, guys. A 
Oops. Oh, here we have some undead. The big one that's glowing is a plague zombie. I think it might poison you. Do you care? These guys are just regular zombies, and this guy in the back here is a skeleton archer. But we don't allow archers other than ourselves. So he dies first. Oh, come on. He's got like 3 HP. And zombies are pretty slow and pretty terrible uh, accuracy. Also, they're resistant to physical damage, I think. I don't want to say they are um, completely immune to stuff like critical hits and things, but they're... They either have a lot of HP, or they're resistant. Or both. Especially the big guys. Godric, you've got me curious. Throw out a dragon flames. Nope. Not worth it. How much damage? Six? That was awful. At least Aleron's doing some pretty good damage. Alright, Godric, back off and use the throwing iron. Dragon Fang. Whatever mystical piece of iron you have now. There we go. Yeah, because see, the Plague Zombie doesn't seem to take backstab damage. Which is rather irritating, considering we're a lot of backstab damage. Was that one upside down? That blue one is the photosynthesis from the um, Ring of Healing, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's... About as useful as poison, but it's still free HP. And free HP is always interesting. And we are gonna go down and use some of our healing potions because they're bad and worthless. Wait a minute, I saw you guys get damaged. Well, alright. Anyway, um, we're going to save here and cut the video, and I'll come back to you guys next time in the bog.